Hi Tubes, gonna give you an update here on the, the radial here. Show them what you've been doing, Mike. Hang on, I'm trying to get this light to work. Uh oh, All right, you want me to hold the light? Yeah, I got it. I got this hobo on the way over here. Look at him, what he's doing. <laughs> Research. He's researching, look at him. <laughs> All right. All right, can you see what's going on? All right, go ahead. All right, well, uh, I've got the main bearing plates, or the main bearing carriers installed on the end plates here. Got the one, this is the uh, front side plate and the rear side's on there. The crank sits there, and it's, that's pretty much what it's going to look like, spinning around in there. You see? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, we got good lighting on it. All right. Uh, they both lined up real well. I'm pretty pleased with it. Uh, kind of shape the uh, edges a little bit because uh, they, they hang over, but we can do that uh, uh, a little bit later. That's Road King's job. He's yeah. in charge of cosmetics. Yeah. So right now I'm working on the, uh, the camshaft uh, bearing carriers, which are going to be made out of aluminum. Similar uh, concept uh, with the main bearings, but uh, obviously this is the cam one of the camshaft bearings, and they're quite a bit smaller. So I'm going to make those out of some aluminum I have over there on the lathe. So, yeah. Let me give me a look at that plate that you bolted that on. They're all worried about that because we're... We are going to weld and then decided to bolt it on. Yeah. Yeah. I think it came out pretty well. It did. It came out real nice. So, you know, they're quarter 28 bolts. Uh, Got a nice gasket on there? Yeah. Yep. That's going to be the, uh, that's the oil seal um, for the, between the uh, bearing carrier and the uh, end plate. But the actual seal on the bearing is really the, the, uh, the oil seal for the crank. Okay. Shaft. I was just going to say that because they all said that. So, we, there's no worries. There's no worries about a wheel for us anyway. Right. Okay, now you got over here on the lathe the big hunk of aluminum. Yeah, well, I'm just turning that down to a set diameter for the length that I need. I've got to make six bearing carriers for the camshaft bearings, two for two bearings per each shaft. There's three shafts. Um, so I'm just turning it down a certain length. It's, uh, I mean, the, the rough size, this is uh, uh, one and three eighths, but it's a little oversized, so I just have to turn it down to exactly one and three eighths. So it's going to be the same same bearing carriers, just this one's going to be aluminum? Yeah, the same it's idea. Smaller. Aluminum, it's smaller. There's, you know, the, there's not as much stress on the camshaft carriers as there is on the crankshaft carrier. And uh, we happen to have this nice piece of aluminum here okay. to make it work instead of... That's why we turning, keep that in stock. Turning that down out of steel. Not really... Okay, so you're using the end uh, thing here too. Very yeah. nice. Center, what do you call it? Yeah, center live center. Yeah. Live center, live center. Yep, yep. I knew it had a name. And, uh, yeah, but these are going to be held on. You see the other, the main bearing carriers are held on with six bolts. This is just going to be held on with three. I'm thinking like 1032 screws or something. Mm -hmm. Should be perfect for this. So. I just bought some brand new ones for you, buddy. Yeah. Excellent. All right, you keep going and uh, we'll catch up with you later. All right. All right let's go over there and see how our buddy Mike's doing. Your uh, piece of aluminum got a lot shorter, Mike. What's going on? Well, this is, uh, I'm going to drill a hole most of the way through here, bore it out to 7 eighths of an inch. That's what the OD of the ball bearings are for the camshafts. And uh, it's, it's finished turned now to uh, 1 and 5 sixteenths inches. Um, so once I bore it to 7 eighths, I'll just part the uh, length of the uh, uh, cam bearing holders right off of there. I need six of them total. So I don't know if I'm going to get all six out of there. I think I should be able to. So uh, right now, just doing a little bit of a uh, drilling here. All right, I'm going to go take a look at your barons. All right. Uh, here's a little tiny baron. It's uh, Mike is making them things for. Are you going to take these seals out, Mike? You really don't need them, do you? It's going to be on the inside. Well, of the I'm going to need. I'm going to need two or uh, three of them to have a seal on one side. Just the same concept as the crank. Right. Right. But the front side, I can take both seals out or leave one seal in or one seal out because there's going to be no holes through the front uh, uh, end plate. Okay. All right. All right. Going to have to cut the video short here. Mike just called, got called in on a service call, so he uh, didn't even have a chance to pull his drill out of here. So uh, I'm going to finish that up, finish drawing that hole for him, and... Uh, then when he comes next week, he can uh, fit him onto his little bearings here and stuff like that. So, all right, it wasn't much of a video, but at least you got to see he's starting to work on the cams and where he's going to go with this. So, oh, I don't know if my light's on. There you go. So, uh, like I said, it wasn't much of a video, but at least uh, you get to see where he's going. All right, we'll see you in the next one.